Fear is the path to the dark side. So I'm a local political activist here in Texas. I'm a three-time delegate to the Texas State Republican Convention 2006, 2008, and 2010. I have voted for Rick Perry in the past, 1998, 2002, 2006. What it boils down to is this, is that Rick Perry is a man who campaigns on Christian values. He uses Bible buzzwords for political gain. Uh, he appears on stage in Houston with uh, all these preachers, extremist preachers, yet he's living a double life. And the reason I know that, Alex, is because Rick Perry, his enabling entourage, and I like the same women. Uh, the reason they're credible is because uh, there are multiple allegations. Uh, I met a stripper a couple of years ago. Uh, she said uh, I was working uh, on stage at a club and a, and a man comes up to me. And he says, uh, here's $500. Uh, that's just for starters, you know, come with me. Uh, because, because that's about what, you know, a dancer might make in a whole night with, with table dances and tips like that. She said, sure, I'll do it. And so she got into her regular clothes, uh, and she was delivered to Rick Perry. And uh, when she got to Rick Perry, she told me about a couple of years ago before the 2010 uh, gubernatorial race, she said that uh, she and Rick Perry started fooling around, and she was trying to give him uh, a Monica Lewinsky, I, th I think it was oral sex, I think. And her words to me were, I think he was too coked up to get it up. Okay? After they had been playing around for a while and it was time for her to go, Rick Perry paid her an outrageous sum of money, well into the four digits. Rick Perry is not a rich man. He's only worth a million or two dollars, one or, one or two million dollars. It's not a lot of money compared to who he runs around with. It makes me think that Rick Perry is taking bribes and illegal, illegal gifts from his entourage to fund his extracurricular activities. And that was just one lady. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering.